My name is Ellen, I'm one of the myeloma information specialists at Myeloma UK. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the differences between MGUS and myeloma. Uh, myeloma is an incurable but treatable cancer and MGUS is not a cancer. There are similarities in that they both produce an abnormal protein called the paraprotein, um, but MGUS will not be treated, um, but it is important that it's monitored regularly because in a very small percentage of cases, MGUS can progress to myeloma. So that's why it's important for active monitoring, uh, either at a GP or at a haematologist. Generally, when MGUS is first diagnosed, monitoring will be every three months or so. Uh, but if everything remains stable and the patient doesn't experience any new or increasing symptoms, then that monitoring can increase. And I speak to patients who are monitored every six monthly and every year, for instance. Um, we ask patients to be quite vigilant as well and to report any new or increasing signs or symptoms. And those would be things like uh, new or increasing pain, especially in the lower back or the rib cage, um, recurrent and repeated infections. So if you get infections all the time and you find it difficult to throw them off, that's something that your doctor will want to know about. Uh, things like feeling extremely overwhelmingly tired, that's called fatigue, um, and that's something else your doctor will, will uh, want to know about. Uh, it is unlikely for MGUS to progress to, to myeloma. Only about 1% of, of patients with MGUS per year will actually progress to myeloma, but it is something that does need to be monitored for. Um, generally, it's a, MGUS is a stable condition that doesn't require any treatment and doesn't have any symptoms. And patients are generally pretty well. Um, so uh, we've got lots of resources on our website uh, about MGUS and about myeloma. But please do pick up the phone and you can speak to me and my colleagues on our free phone helpline, the Myeloma Infline, on 0800 980 3332 or email us at asthenurse at myeloma.org.uk.